Hey squad, welcome back. Today I wanted to do another quick video on the amazing Logic Pro Quick Sampler. And I'll show you how you can grab samples from no copyright, royalty free samples like this. And turn them into beats like this. As always, I'll have the full Logic session file uploaded so you can grab that to experiment and explore. And I'll have links to download and try out all of the plugins that I've used on this particular project. Okay, so let's dive in. So I've got three tracks on screen, as you can see right here. First two are my drum tracks and we're running at 95 BPM. Let me give you a little play of that. Cool. And up here, I've imported the instrumental that I'm going to be using for this sampling exercise. I'll have a link in the description for you to check out the artist's work and you can always purchase their material should you choose to do so. Here's a few seconds of the track. Okay, is established what the tempo of this instrumental is. It starts off in this very calm manner, but later on the drum beat drops in with the full production. Let's have a listen to a section like that. Okay, so that's really helpful in helping us to figure out the tempo of the instrumental. So if I was to come to a section after the beat drops around here and make sure I've got the Logic BPM counter inserted onto the instrumental track and let's play back to do some analysis i've already done this from before i know it's 105 bpm so let's type in 105 here go back to the instrumental we need to now find beat one have a listen here that's beat one of this bar right just here that's what we want to capture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shave this back like so to about here, pull this back like so. Let's hear how this loops around over a four bar section. Yeah, that's pretty tight. I can decide on what sections of this instrumental I want to use to sample from. For now, I'm just going to stick with the first four bars. I'm going to come to bar five and I'm going to chop right there. I'm just going to stick with these four bars. That's all I need. The next thing is important. I'm just going to duplicate this track right here. Let's drop this down here. I'm going to use a key command, Control B, to bounce this in place. Now I'm going to switch on Flex. I'm setting this to Polyphonic. Now I'm going to reduce my tempo back down to 95 BPM. That's the tempo of my drums, and I want to be working at 95 BPM. Let's have a quick listen to that. sounding good let's clear the decks for now let's get rid of this don't need these for now we're going to grab our new audio region and we're going to pull it down to this section down here and we're going to drop it onto quick sampler optimized so here's our audio region now sitting in the quick sampler let's play that back at the moment we're in classic mode what we want to do is go for slice mode this is where the fun happens now all of these slices are based on the inherent transient information in the file however what we're going to do is switch from transient to beat divisions and now i'm going to adjust the division slider to one beat per division every one of these segments represents one beat in terms of musical time now if i played notes on my midi keyboard this is what we get Now that's great, but there's a few things I want to do before we move on to actually selecting which of these slices I'm going to use for my production. Come over here to polyphonic and we're going to change this to mono. We're now in monophonic mode, which means no two slices will play at the same time. We don't want that crazy overlap happening and muddying the production. The next thing you can do is adjust the slice position to where you want them. So this one, for example, I'm going to pull this like so. That's cool. And how about this one? That's better. And now I'll go away and make some adjustments to all of these slices. And then I'll come back with my complete edited quick sampler. Okay, so we're ready to start experimenting with some of these slices to figure out what pattern's gonna work with our 
drum beat and just to create the overall vibe of our sample. But before we start messing with that, just like when we change the polyphony over here to mono, there's another useful thing you can do. If we come over here to the channel strip and you'll see MIDI effects. Click on there and come down to Velocity Processor. You're going to keep the switch on value and then you're going to pull the value all the way up to 127. What that does, especially when it comes to triggering samples, you don't want any fluctuation in velocity. You want all of the notes to have the same velocity value and no variation. So it doesn't matter how softly or hard you hit the note. This is a soft hit and this is a hard hit exactly the same velocity is produced and that will give us a nice even velocity mapping when we start programming our sampler pattern. And just a couple more useful things to note. At the moment we've got gate switched off. If I tapped this note, the whole of this slice plays from start to finish. However, if I switch gate on, watch what happens when I tap the note. The slice only plays for as long as I hold the note. I can then adjust the volume envelope just down here. One other thing I can do as well, which I'm going to do right here, is I'm happy with the sample, but I want to drop the pitch down a couple of semitones. So at the moment we've got this. We're going to drop down to about here. Now this is a master control. We're not adjusting the pitch of each slice. This is for the entire sample. The other thing we can do as well is use a filter. So if we switch on the filter, say I wanted to filter off some of the high end. Add some resonance and some drive. All of that is possible, but I'm just going to switch that out for now. There's tons you can do in here, but I'm going to leave that for you to experiment and try out. Like I said, the project will be uploaded, so you've got a starting point where you can experiment and explore. So it's time now to explore and try out different slice combinations to see if we can come up with a pattern that really works for a production. So I'm going to run the rhythm track and let's see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm just exploring, experimenting. What I'm gonna do is go away, figure something out, and then I'll come back with a MIDI section. Okay, so here's my first MIDI pattern. And as you can see, I'm just using two notes, triggering two slices, one on C sharp one and the other on D2. And this is working really well with my drum beat. So what I wanna do now is go through, look for a couple more slices that I can combine together to create my sample section. Okay, so I've got my sample section organized and I've got three tracks of sampling being triggered. And I'm just gonna solo these parts so you can actually see what's going on here with the three different quick sampler sections to give you an idea of what I've come up with. Okay, so here's my sample groove all fleshed out with a few additional elements added on top. I've added a bass line. That's cool. Now the bass is actually coming from this fantastic virtual bass plugin called Bass Fingers. I've done a video on this, which you can definitely check out. The other thing I've got going on right here is some vocals provided by Output.com Arcade and it's a jukebox suite. So let's have a listen to how these are combining. And just to kind of muddy things up a little bit, I've got the samples and the vocals going through to a bus. And on the bus, I've got this really cool plugin right here, which is the Waves Retrofy. Let me give you an AB on that.
yeah, this is really adding the dating that I'm looking for in terms of the samples. And finally, here's what we've got on our master bus. First up is the Waves Abbey Road vinyl. And secondly, I've got one of my absolute favorites, the Waves Apex Vintage Exciter. These are then fed through to the Abbey Road TG Mastering unit and then finalized using my L3 Ultra Maximizer. Now all of these plugins can be downloaded and tried out completely free of charge. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading the project so you can experiment and explore and try things out in your own time. Links will be in the description for that, as well as links to some of the other videos which I've done in the past where I've covered some of these individual plugins in their own right. So before I play out, I just want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment and check back soon for more. I'm Deuce. I'm out. Peace.